Hi guys, it's Rachel, and the video that I'm going to be showing you today is the look that I had in my contest video, which was kind of like, um, it could be a natural look, it could be a pin-up look, you know, whatever you want, depending on the eyeliner, I would say, is what it would be. So, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. So, first things first, for my primer base, I'm going to use Lemonade from Benefit. And I'm just going to take with my ring finger, I'm going to dip that in. And I'm just going to put it on top of my lid. The color I'm going in with is uh, Max Gesso, or Gesso, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use my uh, flat shader brush, Sigma 239. And I'm just going to highlight my brow. And I'm going to blend that in. Just right in the arch area, out, and down a little bit to highlight my brows. Next color that I'm going to use all over, and when you're doing natural and stuff like that, or pin up, um, your lid color, you want to use something that isn't too far from your actual skin color. So for me, it's Max Shroom, and this is just a nice, shimmery, vanilla e color. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid and blend that into that gesso. I'm going to take my little fluffy shader brush. From Sigma, it's a travel size 217. And um, again, when you're doing a natural color, I mean, yeah, natural color, like a natural look, you want to stick with, um, for your crease, you want to stick with something that's a couple of shades darker than your natural skin tone. This might be a little too dark, but this is a uh, Max Cork. And I'm just going to tap it in a little bit of dust. And like I said, if you just want to do these two colors, if you were in a hurry, this is like a nice kind of natural look, a little exercise. I don't know if you can, I just said the lighting is horrible, but it's just slightly emphasizes your features, but, you know, looks nice at the same time. And let me grab what I need. Little round circles in the corner there. I like that technique for my outer V. I think it looks great. I want to darken it down just a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use Max Espresso in the outer V. And Espresso in the outer V. And like I said, just outer V. And that just gives your eyes a little bit of depth. <coughs> Now, this is where, um, oh my god, I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, I do that a lot. I'm not all with it today, guys, sorry. Okay, so if you just wanted to go with a natural look, you could take, um, um, a cream, a cream brow, um, eyeliner, and this one's just, um, L'Oreal Hip, and smudge that right along your lash line and that would look great or if you wanted something a little bit more you know a little more drastic drastic you don't want it natural but you don't want pit up either you know you want to make your lashes look thicker you could go with a black cream liner and again we're okay I love the pin up look so I'm going with liquid black eyeliner I love eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I'm a total liquid eyeliner whore. Um, another thing is, too, is eyeliner really helps in making it look like you have fuller lashes. As long as you keep it close to your lash line and just smudge it in there, it really does help. So I'm going to go ahead and start lining my eyes. Again. If you have a trouble with liquid eyeliner, the things I find really easy is resting my pinky on my face. That helps keep me balanced. And also getting really close up to the mirror, but I'm trying not to do that because I want to show you guys what I'm doing. And again, thin in the front and then making it thick towards the, the end there. And just flicking it out, and again, I'm taking that 
that lower edge of my outer V, and that's where I'm creating my slit. It could be a little one or a big one. I like a big one. I like how it makes my eyes look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <coughs> you can curl your eyelash next if you want to. I don't because I kind of feel like it pulls out my eyelashes. That and I don't. I find it harder to sit my falsies on top when I do that. So. I am going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast and I'm just going to start Now when you put on mascara, you won't have your eyes completely open or else you're going to get mascara on your lids. I like to keep them halfway open like this and just spin my brush with my fingers. And that really works them well. Okay, like so. And I'm going to do the lower ones as well. After I put a second coat on. Just to make the lashes. And you don't have to put them on the lower. If you want to really make your um, eyelashes stand out, just put them on the upper half and leave the bottom ones, bottom ones bare. But I kind of want to give me that baby dollish kind of Barbie look, so I'm going to put them on the bottom too. And the trick that I use to put it on my bottom lashes is I just, just like that. Just go back and forth with it. Little strokes down, just so I don't smudge it all over my face. Like so. Now, you can leave your eyes like that, or you can put on falsies. You don't have to put eyeliner on if you want to give yourself an open look, but if you want to give yourself an even more open look, um, white eyeliner on the waterline. So, I'm just going to go like this. Pull down my lash line and put that white right on my waterline. And I have small eyes, and this is a trick to really open up my eyes. Ooh, ooh. See how much bigger they look? Oh, and another trick to make your eyes look really open if you have small eyes. Take that white, twirl it on your pinky, and you just pop it right into the tear duct. And, you know, based on what colors you're using, I mean, that's what you could do. If you were doing more of a smoky eye, then go with a shroom on the inner corner. Um, or whatever you're using as your highlight also will really help. But, um, this is kind of a light look. I'm doing gay so. And I just put it right in that tear duct. Just with my pinky. You can use a brush if you want, but I like to use my hands and brushes at the same time. So that is it. Um, I'm not going to put lashes on, you know, because I'm just going to take them off. I'm getting in the shower after this. But, you know, um, what I did yesterday... For that look, as I just took some lashes like this, and I cut the ends off. See those little ends sitting there? I cut the ends off, and I just glued them on my lower lash line, just those little sections. So it kind of gave me that dollish kind of look. And um, you can put on lip gloss, or if you want, um, you can put on bright lipstick like I did because it's a simple eye look. Um, you can get away with a nice, you know, pow in your face lipstick opposed to like if you had something complicated going on you wouldn't want to. So um that is my natural slash pinup look and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.